gentlemen, it's Blind Days, and here is your host, Priscilla Black. Oh, hey. What a welcome. <laughs> oh, and they don't get a paid a penny extra. Hello and welcome to Blind Date. You know, I read this survey the other day. I did. <laughs> now, apparently, it's, it's now true that two out of every three people wish that the third one would go away. <laughs> yes, hey, nonny, nonny. And here are three fellas all hoping to go away on a blind date. Here they are. <laughs> You're all very fanciable, fellas. <laughs> and let's start with you, number one. What's your name and where do you come from? Hello, Scylla. I'm Rob, and I'm from Kentish Town in London. <laughs> Moving on to you, number two. Uh, oh. Number <laughs> two. Sorry. I'm uh, 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 number three. Yeah. Uh, it's you, number two. What's your name and where do you come from? Well, Silla, my name's Roddy and I'm from Edinburgh. <laughs> now, oh. moving on to our third contestant. <laughs> What's your name and where do you come from? <laughs> oh, hey. A lot of fans out there, number three. What's your name and where do you come from? Um, I'm number three. <laughs> and I've come from the dressing room. <laughs> ah, ah, bless his little cotton socks. No, but what's your name? Tell us your name. Oh, uh, Bean. <laughs> and your first name? Uh, Mister. <laughs> and what do you do for a living? Well, I don't go around asking people personal questions. <laughs> <laughs> Not too personal. Who is your ideal lady? Oh, well, Shirley Bassey, obviously. <laughs> Goldfinger! <laughs> Shirley, it's a great friend of mine. She's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, wow, yes. Diamond lover of us! <laughs> well, I wish all three of you a Laura look. In fact, a Laura Laura look, number three. <laughs> will be lucky tonight. Well, it's all up to one girl. She's absolutely lovely. She's from Manchester and her name is Tracy. Come in, Tracy. Aren't you, love? That's right, Scylla. Now you've got your questions there, so fire away, Trace. <laughs> right. I'm a girl who likes a good dance. If you could have just one dance with me, what would it be? And that's number one. Well, Tracy, I'd have a little trouble deciding between a lambada and a tango. But in the end, I think we'd just go for a little horizontal dancing instead. <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> Nice. Yes, it's nice. Yes. What about you, number two? What kind of dance would you do with me? Uh, well, Tracy, I'm a bit of a romantic, so I think I'd take you in my arms and we'd waltz off into the sunset forever. Oh, <laughs> oh that sounds nice. Oh, it does. Sounds it? nice. Yeah. What about you, number three? What kind of dance would you do with me? Oh, I can't dance. Oh, yes. Come on, number three. We want to see him dance, don't we, gang? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know, really. I mean, I just sort of... Sort of, sort of, sort of. <laughs> Time. 
And don't do it just yet, because here's our Graham with that quick recap. So, who's it going to be, Tracy? Will it be number one, who makes a business out of making beds? and whose horizons are distinctly horizontal. In other words, he's a perfect... Or will you choose number two, the Scottish lad, who's an expert in languages and wouldn't say non to a little French kissing? <laughs> or will it be number three, he keeps his business secret, but he might just make you an offer you can't refuse. The decision <laughs> is yours. I know who my favourite is. Oh. Who's your favourite? Don't tell us. Who are you going to go for tonight, Tracy? Well, Scylla, I think I was daring coming on Blind Date in the first place. I think you were desperate. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that I might go for number three. <laughs> <laughs> what about the two that she turned down? Oh, let's have a look at them. Oh, it's a shame. <laughs> First of all, you turned down our Rob, and he was all the way from Kentish Town. Come in, Rob. <laughs> oh, oh so he's gorgeous. Oh, he is gorgeous. Yeah, no, yeah. nothing nice. <laughs> oh, God, what a shame, what a shame. Uh, having second thoughts, Tracy? Oh, a bit. A bit. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. What about number two? Robbie from Edinburgh. Come in, Robbie. Yeah. Roddy. Oh, oh Mom Petit Chucky Earth. <laughs> what a shame. But this is it. This is the exciting bit, Tracy. Okay. You are going out on your blind date. Do you think you made the right choice? <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> May I say? I think you're a very brave. I say this every week. Okay. You will not be disappointed. Because <laughs> here's your blind date for this evening. Number three, here he is from his dressing room, and his name is Mr. Bean. Come in, Mr. Bean. Where you're oh, going mate, on... please. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're all. Someone to cut off. Oh, no, don't want to go there. <laughs> um, ah, this is it. A night in an English country hotel. <laughs> is, that, is that the one you're going to go for? Yeah, yes, it's the one. Are you happy with that, Tracy? A night in an English country hotel. I mean, they're all lovely dates. Do you oh. like champagne? No. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll have a good time. Oh, no, Tracy. <laughs> Please, try and have a good time. <laughs> All I ask, will you come back shortly and tell us how you got on? Oh, I, I certainly will, Miss Black. <laughs> oh, isn't that lovely? Let's hear a big hand for the lovely Tracy and the marvellous Mr Bean. Oh, See no. you later. <laughs> our romantic couple and spending their romantic weekend at a lovely English country house hotel. Anything. Well, I'm quite a catch. <laughs> oh, I've got something. Oh. Mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to dinner. 
Dead hungry. Oh, so, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> spent your blind date in your heart on the English countryside, but at the end of your date, did you win each other's hearts? Let's find out. When I first saw him, I thought, oh, she is a little I know she When I first saw her, I thought, blimey, she's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. He didn't say much. He didn't have much conversation. He had a, a bit of a tendency to keep himself to himself. Can you say something? When he did come down to dinner, I thought it was a pity that he had his shirt sticking out of his flies. And when I came down to dinner, I could see that look in her eyes. Only one thing, you know. It was the worst weekend of my life. Best weekend of my life. Of course I'll never see him again. It was a total disaster. <laughs> oh, dear, I don't know what to say. I am so terribly, terribly sorry. Sit <laughs> 